Greetings, I'm Billy Strange, and welcome to Model Cars and Coffee number three. Uh, before we get into what I've been doing this past week and then what I've got coming up on the channel, I did want to put a shout out to Chris's House of Plastics. See, Frank over at Frank's Model Works remind me that I forgot to put in on my Friday video and plug Chris's channel. Chris has got a new channel. Uh, check out his last couple of videos. I like the direction that he's going, and as always, when you're starting a new channel, you're trying to find your footing and trying to find your own voice. So go give it a watch. If it interests you at all, then go ahead and subscribe. Remember, subscribing doesn't do anything if you're not watching the videos. So PSA here. Chris had reached out. See, I don't have a shop card either, and neither does Chris. So usually what I would do is I would wait for the shop card, and then I would do a channel shout out, but he doesn't have any. Likewise, I don't have any, but Chris was nice enough to reach out to me, and here I'll show you. He asked for one of my driver cards, so I sent him a driver's card. Uh, this is me when I raced back in the day uh, sprint cars, so if you'd like one, I've already traded a couple with people, so if you'd like one, my email is in the description below. I'd be happy to send you one or trade shop cards, whatever you want to do. Like I said, this isn't really a shop card. It's it's my driver card, my last one for, from when I uh, I used to race IRL. So anyway, there's that. There's a little bit better look at it. Okay, what have I been doing this week? I have been working on the interior. So did did some progress there on the door cards. Uh, and then, boy, I did about three hours worth of taping and did the seats. Now I switched. I decided that the race seats weren't going to be a great idea. It just didn't look right when I was mocking things up after I got the floor in and some other stuff. I just didn't like the way it looked. So we'll hold on to the seat belts and the racing seats for something else. But as I and I'm going to explain all this, I'm making a video. I'm explaining what I'm doing and showing the process here. But. I did get one of these little car seats <laughs> and I thought, well, since I'm taking out the race seats, we'll just throw a car seat in the back. So I painted it up. Now I've got to wash everything, darken some stuff up, and then it'll be ready to go. It'll kind of look like, there we go. That's a little better. And then you can imagine seat. We'll go on there like that. In my monitor, the, the color isn't quite as vibrant, but I sprayed this and this with this Mr. Super Smooth Clear Matte. And I think it looks great. It has more of an upholstered kind of look. And then after we do the wash, I think it's going to look even better. And again, I am really liking these these primers the surfacer and or the uh, finishing and then the regular surfacer this one's finer this one comes out really really smooth that's where we're at um, i'm doing a video on this i've got to put all that in and then that video will be done coming up i've got more stash ad videos to do i look forward to watching all your look i watch every everybody's video i possibly can because again i like all of it i I'm into, you know, listening to somebody talk while they're building, you know, real time showing their builds. I like listening to when people just do an update on their builds. I like watching the stuff where people are showing, like I said, stash ads, tools, uh, history, maybe a model that they had already done that's got some history to it or whatever. I like all of it because, again, like I said, this is just like one giant model car club to me. So I appreciate all you watching. Thank you so much. You've been great. I've been strange. Take care, and I will catch you in the next video.